said it anyway. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Good morning, ladies and germs. All right. Got a little mess here in the trucky, but it's all good. We'll clean it up later on. Okay, let's uh, grab my uh, new little quick service bag, which is the MB2. I still got this guy here. This is for my main service bag. This is just a couple of tools when I'm uh, just changing a board or something like that. And, uh, so I actually need my little crimper out of here. My favorite crimper of all time, Snap-on. guys want to see a video on what I carry in this sucker give me a shout out and I will do it for you okay so I have a unit here that's not working and then there's another unit that uh, somebody jimmy rigged because the board wasn't working and I have that to do so I'm gonna do the board and I'll do that as well let me grab some uh, Papi, I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah. What'd you mess up now, Martin? You're talking Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. You're not Puerto Rican, man. You see? You like. Let me see what's what. Alright guys, let me uh, get this going. I'll bring you guys back on.
this board is uh, designed pretty well. It's just so sensitive, you know. Um, not enough water flow will, will go into fault. Uh, these thermistors pick up a lot of information. Um, if, if the pipes are not proper temperature, Refrigerant lines, if not proper temperature, it'll, it'll start going into fault. So this is our high pressure. We'll go here. And I got my reversing valve, which is here. If I can get in there with my fingers. ones out of the way. Yeah, they're all easy. So that's that. Now this wire, this, since it's connected to the contactor, that seems like the blower. go straight to the contact. This is too weak. So so this will get normally opened and this will go straight to the contactor. One side and then the other side you just have to power that up. Check the diagram, I don't remember. Oh. Let me go look at the diagram. to the contactor. And uh, the desired speed will go to normally open and then you give it another leg from the contactor. Okay. This is the wet switch. It goes into the pan. Sell this at United, but not as many uh, connectors. I just made an addition. I got one of my uh, MC bag and one of my Tech MB. Really nice little little box. It works well. So let's go ahead and uh, crimp these guys together. Butt connectors. switch okay the next thing we have to do is this transformer wires gotta love these little pliers they're awesome and the crimping on it is just amazing
done so many of these these heat pumps today. So far, I got the high pressure, low pressure. I got the solenoid, which is back there for the reversing valve. I got FP1. FP1 is the air coil temperature thermistor, pretty much. And this is for the water. FP2 is for the water. Uh, I got my transformer wired. I got a uh, contactor, fan coil wiring. I'm gonna wire this wet switch. Just leave it underneath. There's no pan. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wire the thermostat in. I cut these. These. They're all pretty much wired the same, but I have to verify in the apartment which color goes to where make sure before I wire that I just cut this out of the lemon unit in the basement but other than that I'm, I'm pretty good so I'm tie all this stuff and uh, I'll see what happens put you guys in. there we go compressors on I put this inline fuse to protect the board but we're looking good I want to make sure I'm in cooling mode because Cooling mold, the pipe comes out hot and top. Heating comes out cold. Wow, look at that, look at that. It's 1.7 amps. Mm, look at that, lovely. So let me zip tie all this up, guys, and I'll turn you back on. Guys, let me get you closer here with the light. Take a look. It's my head pressure, about 100. And head pressure, you can see, we're about 350. So we're running pretty good. We're running pretty good. If I had an issue, then I would have thrown on the digital gauges, but she is running good. And that's that, guys.